Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick ombre and gradient glitter texture. So let's go ahead and get started. I do have another glitter texture that's a little bit more detailed than this one. So in this video, I'm going to show you a different way to create glitter, but it's always good to know different ways to do something. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off with a new document. I'm going to come here to File, New. And this document is going to be 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels, 300 resolution, and we're working it in sRGB. I'm going to click create. I'm going to open up my layers panel, unlock this, and I'm changing my background color here. Okay, so the background color for this is going to be F0C92E. So this is a, a pretty light color. You might even want to go a little bit lighter. As we progress through this, the color is going to get much darker because we're going to be stacking and layering. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, Command and Delete, Control and Backspace. And I'm just going to fill that layer with that color. I'm going to press X on the keyboard because I need uh, this color to be on top and I need the base color to be white. So this is just a basic white color for the background now. And now I'm going to come up to filter, filter gallery. Inside of filter gallery, we're coming here to the texture menu and we're choosing this texture right here. It's called grain. The settings here are going to be intensity 50%, contrast 50%, and our grain type is going to be sprinkles. I'm going to click OK. Now we're going to come back up to filter, this time pixelate and crystallize. And our cell size is going to be 5 pixels. Cell size is going to change depending on the texture of your glitter. So the bigger the cell size, the more coarse your glitter is going to be. The smaller the cell size, you're going to get a more refined glitter effect. For this one, we're going to go for a finer glitter. So I'm going to stick to cell size of five. I'll click OK. So I'm going to come here now to my layer and I'm going to change that uh, blending mode for this one to multiply. I'm going to right click, duplicate this layer and I'll call it number two. Now with number two, we're going to come up here to edit, transform, Rotate 90 degrees, right click again, duplicate this layer. And then we're going to come back up here to edit, transform, rotate 90 degrees. Again, right click and make sure that you're, you're uh, duplicating the very last layer that you created. So we're going to, so don't just keep duplicating this one because we want to keep rotating it 90 degrees. So, okay, so we're going to choose number three, right click duplicate the layer and now we're going to come up here to edit transform rotate 90 degrees clockwise okay so this is going to be the basic glitter texture now i'm going to grab all of these layers i'm going to hold down the shift key i have this one selected i'm going to select the bottom one command and the letter e to merge all of that together and i'm going to add a new layer on top of this so what i want to do is get a shinier glitter effect so i'm going to come down here to my brushes if you don't have that here you can come to window and brushes from there and i'm going to be working with the legacy brushes default brushes if you don't have your legacy brushes installed you can come here to the little three lines and choose legacy brushes right here and that will load those up for you okay so we're coming to legacy brushes default brushes and we're going to choose this brush right here it's called star 70 pixels the amount of pixels doesn't really matter we're going to go ahead and make some changes to that but you can click on that i'm going to go ahead and click on the brush that i've already made and just kind of show you the settings for it so this brush right here is based off of the star 70 uh, brush in default brushes inside of Photoshop. So all you have to do is come here to brush settings. Once you have that selected, window brush settings as well. You can get there from there. And we're going to make the following changes. So we're going to change that uh, star 70 brush to 150 pixels. Our spacing is going to be 100%. Our size jitter uh, 
49% for this one, angle jitter 31%, and everything else is fine. The scatter, we're scattering 300%, and our count is gonna be two. And that's pretty much it for that brush. Now what I'm gonna do with this new layer is uh, double click right here on the right hand side to bring up the layer styles and I am going to add an outer glow to this. So for the outer glow, these are going to be our settings. We have uh, blend mode is screen, opacity 20%. Our color is going to be white. So just basic white here. Technique softer spread 5 size 7. And our contour is Cove Shallow. So let's see right here. That's going to be this one, Cove Shallow. Uh, range 50% and that's pretty much it for that. Now with our brush selected at 150 pixels, all I'm going to do is drag this across the canvas to add the sparkle. Now I'm going to grab this layer and hold down the shift key, grab that last layer Command and the letter E to merge them. So I have my first glitter texture. Okay, once I have that, what I'm gonna do is make sure I have this selected and I'm gonna come here to filter. I'm gonna go to sharpen and sharpen more. So this is just gonna give me a little bit more contrast. And if you'd like even more contrast, you can come up to filter and then just choose sharpen more again. Now what I'm going to do is make this a repeating pattern. So I'll come up to filter, other, and offset. This is a thousand pixel document. So we're going to divide it by 500 uh, horizontal, 500 vertical. Now you can see I have a large space here. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel. Um, I might have made this a little too big. Do you see how it over is overlapping here on the side? So I'm going to have to fix that. And we can come here to... Uh, the crop tool and I'm just going to crop it to the canvas and then we'll try that again. So filter, other, offset. Again, this is a 1000 by 1000 pixel document. So we're just going to cut this in half, 500 and 500. We're using wrap around and we're going to click OK. Now if you see any lines here anywhere, you can uh, fix that now. I'm going to come here to the cologne stamp tool. And I'm just gonna make that a little bit bigger. I'm gonna hold down the option key to make a selection on the canvas and then just kind of go through and uh, fix anywhere that I've noticed lines or anything like that. Okay, now that you have that done, you have a repeating pattern, you can come up here to edit, define a pattern and we'll call this gold. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our ombre effect. We're gonna come here to the adjustment layers and I'm going to choose this one right here. It's called gradient. We're going to leave the angle at 90 degrees. Our scale is 100% and for the gradient itself, we're using this one solid color to transparent. So solid to transparent right there. And you can change the color to anything you want. So I'm going to change this to maybe like a, a pink color. And then I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click OK again. Now if you wanted to change this, like the size or the position of the gradient, you can just double click here again. And then with your mouse, just hold it down and drag. So you can make that bigger or smaller. Now for our gradient. So the only difference between doing an ombre like this and doing a gradient glitter is that we're just going to be changing the blend mode. So from here, we're instead of normal, we're going to use color. You can now see that glitter texture in the background. So I'm going to double click there and I'm going to change the gradient. So I'm just going to use this click OK and then you can, you know, change how like change the direction, change the scale on this to get some interesting effects. So I'm gonna click OK. And this is our gradient glitter. So you can come in now and define patterns. So now we have the gradient glitter. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I have another glitter tutorial, which is my favorite method for creating glitter. You can check that out by following one of the links up on the screen right now. 
Make sure to like, share, and subscribe and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.